Caddis Maximus here, this time with a CDI 2503DF. So this is a deflecting beam dial torque wrench. So it works just like a deflecting beam torque wrench. And I'll put up a quick review of one of those. We'll also look inside to see how this works. This is a pretty nice torque wrench. This one's actually made in 1972. So technically it's going on 50 years old. Uh, and it's in magnificent condition, really. Um, it has copyright 1972. One nice thing about these is they have a recessed lens in the dial, which you can see right there. So the dial doesn't get scratched when you set it on top. All this has is a rigid beam and then a movable beam that the, can't, the anvil is connected to a beam and then just has a little connection to a dial. So when you torque, we'll show you right here. If we can get some good light, come on. Just like that. So you have to have a good angle on the dial. They're not the best in many situations, but the big advantage is the deflecting beam and dial torque wrenches is you can measure turning torque. A click type torque wrench just knows you hit a certain tor torque value and then clicks. However, like in so many situations where you have drivetrains involving uh, automotive or industrial gearboxes, once you get everything together, you got to make sure that uh, there isn't any binding, and so there's going to be certain torque values. I had an old Mitsubishi Eclipse, and they actually had a specification of like, um, you know, like 8 to 14 foot-pounds of torque if you attach a torque wrench to any single hub and just turned it to see how much force. If it took more force than like 12 to 14 foot-pounds, then you know you had brakes that were rubbing or something else is binding, bearings are over tight. And so they're really handy in those situations. Obviously, it can work in reverse. Um, and they're very simple and actually pretty durable. So that was just a quick review and overview of this type of torque wrench, as well as just generally speaking dial-type torque wrenches. Um, and it's really nice because you can come right up. You can see exactly how much torque you have on something. If you want to put a little extra torque, uh, it's really easy to put just a little bit more pressure and see. Um, so that's another big advantage. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Caddis Maximus out. Oh, let me do a quick close-up of this here, too. So even though it's made in the early 70s, it's not bad. You know, you have a nice chrome handle. It's just welded right there. The weld isn't perfect, but it's not too bad. You know, it's simply made. These weren't the most expensive, but they're really pretty nice. There's the dial. It's actually very clear. There's the top of the beam. I'm not exactly sure what the notch is for. Then a plastic cover. Uh, chrome plated anvil, so that was pretty nice too. I'm not exactly sure what that port is, but we're going to do a what's inside video. Okay, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Caddis Maximus out.